students. Today we're going to do a quick lesson on how to grip your drumstick. How do you hold your drumstick? And we're going to talk about a type of drumstick grip called German grip. That's what I mainly use and it's also what I teach my students to use. So first of all, if I was to ask you to slap your drum, you would probably do this with an open hand. It's a natural movement, it's intuitive and it seems to make quite obvious sense. The beauty of German grip is that German grip is basically this movement just with a stick in your hand. So the stick becomes an extension of your arm. So the first thing with German grip is palms, the palms of your hand, face the drum surface. Okay, second thing, where to hold the stick? Okay, you hold the stick about one third up from the, from the bottom end, from the butt end. If you hold it too close to the bottom, it's gonna to be too heavy at the top. So, it doesn't really bounce. If you hold it too far up, it's too heavy at the bottom. Also doesn't really bounce. But if you hold it in the sweet spot, one third up, the stick has a nice lively bounce. And that's what you want. Okay, so step one, palms facing the ground. Step two, hold the stick one third up, roughly, where you get that nice bounce. Finally, how to hold the stick. Okay, this is what we do. We get the, in, the crease on your index finger, the first crease, and the pad of your thumb. Thumb, first crease, the index finger. Go around the stick. And then the other three fingers, just wrap in around they wrap in around nice and gently. You don't want to grip the stick too tightly, but they are there. They are around the stick. So, palms facing the surface of the drum. Hold about one third up. Use all fingers. That way you get a nice, natural, lively bounce. That's German grip. Two things not to do that I see very commonly with uh, my students. Firstly, the three back fingers here, it's quite common for students to take them off the sticks and play like this. Don't do that because you kind of lack control of the stick at that point and it means that you have to hold really tightly at the front so the stick doesn't fall out of your hand. You don't want to do that. We don't want to hold tightly anywhere. So if we have all fingers around the stick, there's no need for any of the fingers to be holding on very tightly because there are so many points of contact. The final thing that I see a lot uh, with my students that you don't want to do is put your index finger up along the stick like that. The reason you don't want to do that is because th that will stop the stick from bouncing. So if you want the stick to kind of have a nice lively bounce when you're playing, which you do, then having your index finger there will absolutely stop that from happening. Check it out. Oops. Finger, the stick has nowhere to go. It's locked in by your finger. So don't have your finger there. Have your finger out of the way. Remember, to recap, palms facing the drum. One third up the stick is where you want to hold it. The first crease of your index finger and the pad of your thumb go there. The rest of your fingers come around nice and lightly. And then you're ready to go. German grip.